Audio and sound effects in this video were created using audio.com. Use the link in the description to get 10% off. Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today. Boy Angelovic here. So, are you looking for an extremely affordable zoom vintage lens? Stay tuned. This is the Hennymax 28-80mm f3.5 macro lens. Hennymax was an Australian company established in 1923 and ran until 2004 when it was bought by Fujifilm. This lens was released in the 1980s. It weighs 461 grams and uses an M42 screw mount. On the lens you will find the focusing ring, the zoom ring, a macro ring, the aperture ring, and in my case, an M42 to micro four thirds adapter. The focus goes from infinity to 1.5 meters. The zoom goes from 28 to 80 mil. The aperture goes from f-stop 3.5 to 16. And the macro ring allows you to focus closer than the minimum distance of 1.8 meters. The lens has a six bladed aperture. And in order to attach a lens adapter, simply screw it onto the lens. Let's take a look at the sharpness. When we zoom in 400% in the center, wide open at 3.5, the lens is definitely a bit blurry. Once we go down to 5.6, it gets much clearer and stays that way. When we move to the corner, it's also blurry at 3.5, clears up at f-stop 5.6, but at f-stop 8 it gets blurry again and then clears up at 11 and 16. Now let's take a look at sample videos and photos. So that's it guys as you can see this is a pretty interesting lens um, in many ways it's very similar to the Magnicon lens that I reviewed a few weeks ago the the range is the same um, th this is uh, um, this doesn't have the uh, one ring to sort of rule them all where you uh, focus and um, adjust the zoom so this has obviously multiple rings 
um, but it's in sim similar in, in um, the focal length and also very similar in the quality actually. So uh, check out that video, link in the description and um, you'll see the difference there and the similarities I should say. So I, I find this very interesting lens. So first of all, much like with the Magnicon, don't pay too much for this. This is not to be used for certainly not for professional gigs or anything like that. Um, I think I paid 10 or 15 Canadian dollars for this. That's fine, you know, 20 bucks, that's fine, but don't pay more for that. Now, in my specific case, and um, I think this might just be in my case, um, when I adjust the actual focus here, I can't get infinity focus to work, right? So uh, what I ended up doing is I just put it um, on infinity and then I use the uh, macro ring here to basically as a focus ring, right? And when I do that, it works fine. I mean, that's how I used uh, the lens for all the shots and the images you saw in this video. And obviously it, it's sharp, so that's fine. Um, so that's that. Um, it's, it's pretty heavy, you know, lens as lenses go, especially once you add the adapter to it. So it's something to keep in mind, right? If you want something lightweight on the go, yeah, that is definitely not, not the lens for you. Um, I mean, quality wise, you saw it. I mean, I'm, I'm happy for given the price and for what it is, I think it's fine. Right. But like I said, don't pay more than 15, 20 bucks max. And, um, yeah, I think if you, if you want to use this for home videos, if you want to use this for, yeah, for YouTube channel, that kind of stuff, I think this will work just fine. Right. But not a professional lens by any means. And, um, yeah, that's it. All in all, I think it's pretty cool given the price and everything. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends all that good stuff and stay tuned for more. Thanks.